Hey dudes, welcome to Wednesday, uh, the show where I answer your questions with answers on a Wednesday. My name is Rory McLean and I punch cliches in the jugular. Okay, so first up we've got uh, Mehir Melwani, um, apologies throughout this whole video if I mispronounce people's names, I'll do my best and feel free to correct me in the comments. Um, Mehir asked, or said, dude all, <laughs> dude, all three would be awesome in response to kind of my video ideas from my update vid the other day, uh, especially the recommendations. Also, could you do a few lessons on how to write in your style? Uh, I definitely plan on doing more lessons, um, and the the only thing with them is is trying to work out kind of how to structure that in a way that I can kind of make it actually useful without me just blabbering through in a video. Um, but I definitely plan on, and I'll probably break it down into kind of aspects of playing. Um, not quite sure how yet, but I will. I'm on the case, and uh, that's definitely planned. Yeah. Okay, so next we've got Thomas Person, who has said, Rory recommends sounds awesome to me. I was also wondering if you could do a video on dissonance. I've been having a hard time using it effectively in my writing, but I really like the way you've used it in your videos and riffs in the past. Uh, that's a really good idea, and again, as I've just said, I kind of, I'll, what I'll probably do in the more lesson style videos is break it down into aspects of um, playing, mainly just so I can cover everything in depth. Um, but yeah, using dissonance is a very good idea. In fact, as a, as a kind of starting point, um, with dissonance, I think of it in, t in kind of two ways. I'll use it in two ways. Uh, a, rhythmically, and B, harmonically. So... Uh, what I mean by that is with ry rhythmically, you're kind of using the dissonance as you as you would like a snare hit in a drum beat or something. Um, so like a... I'm making this up on the spot, but that sort of thing where it's like a, a short, sharp stab and it's meant to jar you and throw you out. And then... Um, so that's a kind of rhythmical way to use it. Like I say, like a snare hit in a beat, that's a good way to think of it, I think. So to use uh, dissonance harmonically, what I mean by that is I, I use it generally more with the kind of org 4 shape uh, rather than the minus second, which is what that first example was, the kind of a, a semitone apart. So harmonically, if you take the org 4 shape, so I'm on the 11th fret on the A and then 12th on the D, by itself that sounds quite um, unharmonic, it's very unpleasing. And again, you can use that rhythmically, but to use it harmonically, uh, a good chord shape, a good starting point for this, is the one I'm holding here. So you've got the Org 4, you stick the 8th fret on the D underneath that, that, that chord shape. suddenly it becomes quite a nice sounding chord and you can use it effectively as a kind of... There it was a, a leading note, like a, the high note in that Org 4 acts as the major 7th into back to the D, so... So yeah, I'll, I'll shoot a lesson a bit more in depth and cover that um, kind of properly, but that's a good starting point with the kind of using dissonance in riffs and music, at least from my perspective.
So next up we've got Ravi who says, I know it's not a very creative idea, but guitar lessons would be great. I'm sick of seeing YouTube guitarists shred at a thousand miles per hour and just expect that it's what everyone wants to learn. I would love to look more at picking techniques, tunings, home recording tips, making your own practice schedule, songwriting, etc. Sorry for posting two comments, by the way, I just thought of this a second ago. First off, all, all comments are good. Uh, like, I love reading through these comments, that's the whole idea behind Quensdays. Um, so yeah, don't worry about the comments, man, and thank you. Um, again, as I've said with lessons, um, I want to just work out how I can do that properly, and then um, all of these ideas are great, and I'll definitely, I'll, I'll save this comment and use this as a kind of basis when I'm trying to work out how to lay everything out. I guess as a takeaway thing from this that I can do, just explain qu quickly, I guess like there's a picking technique which I've realised I use quite a lot and is quite a big uh, aspect of my playing, which is a kind of, it's it stems from when I um, used to play bass, because I started out on bass, and there's a slap technique where you're, it's kind of a triplet. And I kind of do the same thing there on, on my guitar now, but between two notes. So I'll pick a note, hammer, and then pick again. That sort of thing. I mean, um, I'll cover all of those, those ideas later on, but as a takeaway now, uh, I hope that's something. Next up we've got two in music productions. The gear video seemed interesting. I would like to see more stuff like how to approach scales to write epic Rory riffs. Again, I like there's a pretty common theme coming out here. Um, I'll incorporate that into the, the lesson style videos. Um, that's actually quite a good idea again because it's for me is like the basis of where I started out. I started learning scales and then realised I could just rearrange the notes and and make something out of it. And then um, there's some cool scales that I've got that I can show you. And then um, yeah, I'll get to that. Uh, Ravi has also asked, have you ever played banjo kazooie? <laughs> uh, yes, I used to have an N64 and I absolutely love banjo kazooie. I guess you're asking this because musically some of my riffs may have reminded you of the music on that. Um, and yeah, the music on it's great, it's a wicked game. To be honest, I'm not a massive gamer anymore. Every time I sit down to play video games I'm just like, I could be playing guitar and writing music. So. Um, I tend to do that instead now, I haven't played it for a long time, but it is a great game, and yes, I used to play it. So, forged in Breisch, Breisch, Breiser, Breiser, Breiz. great tune, great riff, any chance on a complete song? Uh, yes, I was kind of half going to keep this under wraps, but um, I have started writing a couple of tracks that I can get up on here, just to show you guys like a, a full... Um, arrangement because obviously so far it's just been mainly riffs and up until Looper Monday started um, there's a couple of loops but yeah so um, I think this this comment was from my first video the, the um, first riff video I did and uh, yeah I've started arranging that working on that I have no idea how long it'll take and when I'll actually get it out but I'll keep you guys posted um, and yeah, I'm very excited to get that out for you. Uh, so Jeremy Gens, or Jens, Jeremy Jens, Jeremy Gens, um, has said, I definitely hear Muse in your playing. If it's okay to say that, your crazy, almost classical style riffs like Plug In Baby or the beginning to Newborn remind me a lot of Muse. It sounds amazing. Firstly, thank you very much, man. That's that's amazing. And to be compared to, compared to uh, Matt Bellamy is... Um, Bit of an honour, or early Matt Bellamy. I'm not such a massive fan of recent Muse stuff. Uh, it seems a bit watered down to me. But their first couple of albums, um, Showbiz, Hullabaloo, and uh, Origin of Symmetry, uh, I sessioned non-stop, round the clock for about two years. And um, 
yeah so uh, I think that's probably why it's showing through here and yeah thanks for the comparison <laughs> So Nate Lewis has said, I'm disappointed that nobody has mentioned the Street Sharks badge, so props on that, dude. Me too, man. I, uh, yeah, I'm a big fan of Street Sharks. I'm a fan of Sharks anyway. I can't really explain why. I always have been. And then Street Sharks came out when I was younger, and I was just like, this is amazing. It was literally like someone had made a show for me, just sat me down and gone, right, what do you want? And... My answer would have been Street Sharks on rollerblades fighting crime. So, uh, yeah, thanks for noticing. Uh, what is this? Darren has said, What is it about the Friend of Broncos that you like? Such an uncommon guitar to see was just wondering, 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 wondering why you like the Bronco. I've actually, uh, in preparation for this comment, I got the Bronco out, I thought I'd play it in this video. To be completely honest with you, I'm a sucker for aesthetics. I every guitar, well, pretty much every guitar I've bought, I've bought purely on how it looks first, on the basis that you can swap pickups out and enhance the sound. Um, I'm a bit of a pedal gear as well, and obviously, once you're running it through a load of pedals, you can tweak the sound through that. So I've, I just like the way it looked. I saw the Bronco. Cha-ching. Um, saw this in a shop window and I was just like, I'd never seen one, never even heard of them, and um, yeah, gave it a play and I was just like, yeah, it was quite cool. It's quite a short scale length on here. Every time I pick it up, I have to readjust to the neck. But once you do, going back to anything else, you have to readjust again. So it's kind of, I like the fact that it, it draws you into its own little world because of that. You have to, you, you adjust to it and then you're in Bronco land and you finish playing and then you're back into Tysco land or whatever. Um, so it's kind of, I don't know, maybe that's a bit out there, but it's like a, an enclosed mental space that I get into playing this. So yeah, I love this guitar. Uh, like Parco has said, hey, I've got features and he's got featured again. And finally, we've got Kevin Perez, who says, Hi Rory, I've seen your videos and I love your style, man. Thank you. Uh, I know people have been asking you a lot of the riffs that were on the How to Sound Like Yourself video, but could you make a video of that last riff you played around 11.06, please? I've tried to learn it by ear, but I'm not quite there yet. So, that riff is uh, this one. That, again, from, from that How to Sign Like Yourself video, I had intended on covering all of those riffs, and I think this is the only one that I haven't done. To be completely honest, I'd forgotten that I hadn't got around to doing it because I've been so busy thinking of other ideas and stuff that I can do uh, for this channel. So I'll absolutely do that for you, man. And I will try and do that, hopefully in the next few days. I, c I can't promise because I've got quite a lot on, but I'll do my best and, yeah. Thank you for reminding me. So there we go, that was episode one of Wednesday. Uh, I may start doing this on Tuesday and call it Tuesday. Uh, my friend Dan earlier was like, why don't you call it Tuesday? Uh, but for now, it is a Wednesday, every Wednesday. Um, yeah, thank you so much to you guys for watching, for all your comments. Uh, I'm, maybe in the future, I might start kind of collecting all the comments on a specific Instagram post or a Facebook post or maybe a separate YouTube video um, where if you've got any burning questions you can um, stick them on that one specific post and you'll know that I find them. Uh, I may just continue to do as I have been doing, just go through all the videos, find all the comments and uh, answer them like that. I don't know yet, but uh, yeah, we'll see. Um,
This is my cat seeker, the sea monster, the flumpkin. She's obviously a bit hungry. Loop of Mondays has just started, so if you haven't seen that, you can go and check that video out. Um, that I will obviously be doing every Monday, uh, and was loads of fun this week, and I'm looking forward to next week. Um, and then Friday I start Rory Commends, where Rory recommends some music, because uh, that seemed like a pretty popular idea with you guys as well. Um, so I'll just be sharing some music I've been listening to, whether it's old or new or super old or just anything that I think is kind of cool that I've been listening to that maybe has made it uh, had an influence on my playing or maybe I just like it for, a, for some reason and think it's worth sharing but um, I thought that'd be a kind of cool idea, you guys seem to like it so this Friday Raw Recommend starts. Uh, until then though, peace out, thanks for watching and I've been Rory. Kiss the guitar. My name is Rory McLean and I punch cliches in the jugular.